Super Bowl weekend by running 4-0 Wish, all for a great cause. On February 6th, thousands of runners will take part in Kendall Tenney's Run for a Wish and Fun Walk. The race starts at 9 a.m. at Town Square at Las Vegas Boulevard near Sunset. And of course, we want to make sure that you're ready for the big 5K. That's why dietitian Bonnie Johnson with yes. us. Thanks so much for hey, being with welcome. us in studio. It's so fun to think about these races that are coming up and that we can still do them at this time of the year. And what's also great is the fact that uh, you're here to give us some great tips on proper nutrition. It's always uh, important. You know, I think a lot of times people talk about what to eat before the race, maybe even what to eat during the race if it's a long one, but sometimes we don't think about what you can do beforehand to prepare after the race so you're not so sore and so tired afterwards. So there are things that you can do ahead of time to make sure that you recover really quickly. And what did you bring along? Tell us. I, some brought great along, tips. I brought along some really fun tips, but this all kind of came about because an Oregon Health Sciences study showed that runners who drink a cup of cherry juice every day actually recover quicker with less fatigue and less muscle strain and muscle pain. So trying to get a cup of cherries in your diet every day is pretty easy because right now they're coming in juice. Uh, dried and frozen. And I'm totally excited because I, I love, I adore cherry. So this is great. I'm <laughs> a happy right camper. Okay. Well, then I'm going to put together a really quick um, post-run recovery drink for okay. you. All I have in here is about yeah, about four ounces of vanilla yogurt. I'm going to add a cup of uh, cher tart cherry juice. And okay. this you can find on the shelves just about anywhere anymore. And then this is my secret trick. I put in a scoop of chocolate protein powder. So it's, it kind of tastes like, like a, chocolate a chocolate cherry. cherry. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's I'm so loving good. It. And then, you know, this comes out to about 250 calories after a run, so it's a really good deal. I mix it up with my Magic Bullet. You can just shake it up because you don't have anything frozen in there. But you're getting so many antioxidants in there that that's what's going to help your muscles recover after the race. And it is interesting that, it's you know, cherries, it's something that you don't normally think of when you think of, you know, proper nutrition or when you're running. Exactly, and exactly. So you can do anything. This is one, you know, the juice is one idea. Frozen, bear, frozen cherries. You know, think about a cherry pie. If you did it right without a lot of crust to it, it's still mostly fruit. And then one of my favorites is dried cherries and peanuts as an afternoon snack. I love that it. sweet salty combination always tastes so good and it kind of creates that crunch. And you're still getting all the fiber, all of the antioxidants from those cherries. And we talk about posts. What about pre-race. What do you recommend? Pre-race, you know, any of this would be still good pre-race. You want to really stock up on your carbs, which is anything with sugar, with starch in it. So the dried cherries are really, really good for that. And the juice will actually give you the water, the hydration that you need to keep going. And Bonnie, we talk about uh, all these juices. You can mm -hmm. find them at any store, correct? Absolutely. You know, there's so many choices on the shelves now. You can find anything. Do look for the, cher the tart cherry juice. That's where the research is coming from. But, you know, the dried cherries are really easy to find. And then the frozen cherries have been around for years and this time of year when the fruit doesn't look so good in the produce department you can look on other all right, aisles of the grocery store. I love it. Any yep. other quick tips you have for our runners? Uh, quick tips, you know, enjoy it. I think that yeah. that's the most important thing to do. And uh, possibly bundle up. Even nine o'clock, it shouldn't be too, yeah, too bad. Yeah, it might Layers, be too right? Bad. Take them right, off. Right, right, right. <laughs> all right, thank you. So we're going to mix this up. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy yep, this. We can drink it up. Yes. There you go. Okay. Bonnie, thanks again. Thanks I always it. love your tips. Great health tips. Again, that run for a wish happening on Saturday, February 6th, Town Square. And our own, well, Kendall Tenney who's in charge of that will be here tomorrow when you wake up with the Wagners at 4.30 in the morning. Again, Make-A-Wish Run happening on the 6th of February. We'll be right back after the break. Stay with us.